In this video, you're going to see how I made a simple shoe dryer powered by a small fan and capable of drying two pairs of shoes at a time. I used a three inch PVC and everything you'll see for the shoe dryer is just stuff I had laying around my shop. Uh, it probably doesn't surprise you because I pretty much have everything uh, laying around my shop. Anyway, I used three inch PVC and some old plywood. This is cutting the plywood for the box, the air box. And the only real trick there is just to make sure all the pieces are the same size. That way you'll get a nice square box. And then I assembled the box using glue and a brad nailer. If you don't have a brad nailer, you can just nail this thing together. Or for a really strong box, you can use screws. Uh, the box is closed on one end, so I sealed it up. And then you'll see the fan goes down on the other end of the box. All right, so this is the old fan that I'm gonna use at the end of the box. It's a fan I just had laying around and haven't used in a long time. Uh, I just uh, fitted an end cap for the box and then cut a circle that the fan is going to push up against. I've seen people kind of integrate a fan into the box. There's a lot of ways to do this. I like this technique because if I want to, I can take the fan off and throw some baking soda in the box to kind of freshen up the shoes. And you could take a lot of care to make this box really perfect, uh, but since it's just a shoe dryer, I didn't spend too much time sanding or painting or anything like that. Uh, those details are really up to you. All right, so the drying tubes for this guy go up on top, and you'll see that I drilled uh, four holes using a hole saw that match the PVC. And then I add a piece of plywood under the holes and drill some smaller holes in that. Uh, the reason being that that creates a nice little ledge for the PVC pipes to sit on. Uh, you know, there's gonna be some shoes, maybe some boots on those pipes, and I didn't want them to have too much weight to and end up pushing the pipes down into the air box. All right, so ultimately these guys are gonna be glued in place. Uh, but first let me just show you how I attach the fan. Um, I used a, a, an adjustable strap that allows me to cinch the fan in place and like I said before, take it off and add uh, baking soda to the box if I want to. All right, so with the fan cinched in place, this guy's ready to go. Just flip the fan on and I could feel the air coming through the four pipes. And this is my kind of funny attempt to show you the air uh, using a really long uh, receipt from the hardware store. You know, the air is not whipping through those pipes. It's not like high pressure, but it's pretty good. And then here I am just gluing up the pipes. I use Gorilla Glue. It's just a good old all-purpose glue. And this is the shoe dryer on our front porch in a place where the shoes will stay dry if it's raining. And I can just run it and you know not smell up the house or whatever with uh, air blowing through the shoes. Like I said, it'll hold two pairs. You could put running shoes on here or boots. All right, thanks for checking out the project. I just pulled these shoes and one other pair off the dryer, and uh, this is the first day I've used it, and they're bone dry, so it worked really well. Uh, obviously, the dry time is gonna depend on how wet your stuff is, uh, the power of your fan, and probably the humidity in the air. Uh, you know, if it's really humid, it's gonna dry a lot more slow, slowly than if it's, uh, you know, if you're in a dry climate. Uh, but I'm really happy with it. Uh, you could obviously configure this guy in different ways. Uh, if you wanted to dry ski boots or snowboarding boots, you might make it a little bit longer. I even thought about angling the tubes. Anyway, uh, check me out on Instagram if you're into that kind of thing. Meta Spencer on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel down below. And uh, if you hit me with a comment down below, I will definitely respond. <laughs>